We have some awesome smart products. We have smart phones, smart watches, smart cameras, smart lights, smart speakers, and even smart stoves. But for every good product, there is one that is completely awful. And those are the ones that I like. So today I wanna to show you a completely awful product and how I made it oh so much better. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to Porkfolio, or as I like to call him, Porky. Porkfolio is a failed smart product. The idea behind it is that he was supposed to be a smart piggy bank. Um, you put a coin in him and then it would connect to your phone and it would tell you how much money is in your piggy bank. It was meant for kids, I guess, to promote them to save money, but this thing fucking bombed. And let me show you why, because it is the most boring invention ever. So the way he works is pretty simple. Basically, you take a coin and you put it in his little slot, and when you do so, his nose blinks, a color. That's it. That's his entire personality. And then you can see the amount on your phone. Who gives a shit what color his nose blinks? Not me. So I thought I need to give Porky some goddamn personality. Now, for some stupid reason, they decided to put his slit on the front. And I don't know why they did that, but it gave me a fucking idea. I'm gonna make him say sexual voice lines when you put a coin in him and ruin a child's toy. Now I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna do that? Well, the company provides an API, which means I can just build onto their product however the fuck I want. Oh wait, never mind. Their site is down. So what I'm actually gonna use is something called IFTTT. Basically, it just lets you link smart home devices together. So for some reason, there's an... <laughs> just fucking took off his head. <laughs> for some reason, they have an implementation that works with the pig. So I'm gonna use that to call my Python script. <laughs> Fuck. And then I'm just gonna put some speakers inside of him. Luckily, I have some great, great quality speakers. I have the Premier a87 speakers by Aeropostale. Doesn't get better than this. All right, so a little bit of an update. So I took apart the speakers and I put them inside of the pig. I would also wanted to put my Raspberry Pi inside of the pig, but when I tried connecting the speakers to my Raspberry Pi, they just weren't very loud, probably because Aeropostale didn't actually expect anyone to actually use these pieces of crap. But when I connect it to my computer through my amp, it actually gets pretty loud, so I'm gonna use that. So now all that is really left is to get some sound effects and to link my pig to my code. Well, that was an adventure. I feel like I need to tone for my sins after listening to some of those sound effects, but I did find some that I could put in this YouTube video and feel like I'm not gonna go to hell, so let's see how it goes. Well, I got it working and well, it's something. Uh, here, why don't you just take a look? All right, so here's my pig and there's my server. And as you can see, the pig is connected directly into my Wave XLR to help boost the audio. And now if I put a coin inside of him, his nose will blink. And after a second or two, he should... But wait, you said a voice line. What happened to that? Well, here you go. I even made a kid-friendly mode, too. Tell me you wouldn't buy this product now. It has a personality now. It really says what it's feeling. It's probably the most advanced AI to, to exist in today's age. All right, well, if you did enjoy the video today, please consider subscribing and liking. It really does help the channel. And if you have any ideas for other videos, please consider putting a comment down below. Um, I'm not very creative and I'm running out of ideas. So yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day and that's it for me. Bye.